Hello family, hello family. Welcome to the Spiritual Vault. I am Mulam, a.k.a. Nikki Love, your African Indigenous Traditional Healer. And I'm Nikki. Brother Adinkra, your African Indigenous Traditional Healer. How y'all doing tonight, family? How y'all doing? No, all is well, no, all is well, no, all is well. All right, y'all know what day it is. Today is what? Uh, prediction day. <laughs> <laughs> was it the second, the, the second or the first? Today is it's it's officially the second, the second now. Officially right? the second, y'all. So, you know what time it is. Predictions, predictions, predictions. Okay. Um, y'all know there's a lot going on right now. So we definitely gonna be doing some readings at the end. Y'all know there's a lot going on. Right hey, Jalisa, how you doing? We're going to be doing some predictions at the end, and we're going to be doing some predictions at, uh, excuse me, not at the end, I'm about We're going to be doing predictions now. Some readings now. at the end, predictions now, readings at the end. Did you, oh, you got that on your phone? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, yeah? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I do. All right. I do. Yes, ma'am. What you smell, You feel all sexy for talking about, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I thought you were going to say something about the cat, because you finally came down. Oh, I ain't saying nothing about the cat. The cat. Is being spoiled right now. All right, y'all. Hey, Jalisa. We're good. We're good. All is good. I was debating on, sh you know, whether we should come on now. Brother Dink will say, yeah. I don't know if a lot of people is going to be watching, but if you're watching, welcome to the spiritual ball. Again, I am Munam, aka Nikki Love, your African traditional healer. And, and I'm Brother Dinkra, your African indigenous traditional healer. How y'all doing tonight, family? Brother Dinkra, you got to... Scoot over oh, there, there. There, you go. there you go, right there. All right, y'all. So, what's been going on in your neck of the woods? Hey, Intakira, how are you? What's been going on in y'all neck of the woods? Because I know there's a lot going on in the goddamn neck of the woods of the whole United States of America. Okay? Yeah. Now, we're going to talk about predictions, but we're also going to talk a little bit about the movie Note. But I want to reveal it but we're going to talk about it because there are some messages messages in there yeah little gnats flying around god damn it y'all so i'm hitting at the gnats okay messages messages in the movie that we want to talk about and let me just tell y'all this i'm so happy i'm so happy that jordan peele is on the same vibrational energy as me because when he did this movie he must have been all up in my mind for the past 10 years, talking about aliens. That's right, okay? Hmm. But uh, what's the first prediction you want to do about that day for? Um, let's see. I guess we you want to do weather? Do weather. Okay, go ahead. Uh, as you can see, you know, last month we predicted, we talked about uh, a lot of flooding, right? This whole month, a lot of flooding. Wunam said it was going to be flooding in places that we've never seen flooding in before. Uh, so like the West Coast flooded. Kansas, uh, not Kansas, Kentucky flooded. Kentucky Real bad flooded. flooding. I think it was like, they said the death toll was up. Last time I checked, they said it was up to like 26 people dead from the flooding. That's, how, that's like really bad flooding. They're not used to that type of uh, flooding up in that area. Um, West Coast, they say it's monsoon season, so, you know, but I've never seen the flooding that um, they're receiving in Las Vegas. They, they're receiving so much rain that it's, it's, uh, it's crazy. They have flooded in Las Vegas, too. That's what I just said, yeah, Las Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas have flooding, too. But um, um, I see, what I do see, I do see more flooding. Um... I see more. I see more flooding is going to become spirit safe. Flooding is going to be coming to the Midwest, with Midwest area. So all up in there, um, and the you know the typical places. I do see. I do see some more flooding coming to Texas. Uh, that whole region. I see flooding coming to um, Louisiana as well. I see. Actually, I see a hurricane. Maybe a hurricane coming down in that that southern region of the United States. Either it's going to hit Mississippi, it's going to hit either one of those three states. I, I, I'm more prone to say, I don't know why I'm picking up Louisiana, 
in uh, Mississippi, but I see um, hurricanes coming down there. Um, for the East Coast, I'm seeing I'm seeing like some um, what they call it tropical storms or something like that for uh, the East Coast, more up in uh, Pennsylvania and uh, New York area. Um, what do you see? Don't worry about what I see. Well, it's your turn. <laughs> How about Don't that? Don't worry about what I see. Ripped How about off. That? I rubbed off on him, didn't I? He's seeing. He's looking. He's seeing. Now he's really seeing, y'all. <laughs> I rubbed off on him. He's like, I see, right? Okay, y'all. Look here. What do I see for the weather? I see some more blackouts, okay? I see some more blackouts, but I do see, again, a lot of the tornado. I mean, okay. Let me get it right. Hurricanes coming through, okay? Hurricanes slash tornadoes. I also see an earthquake. I see an earthquake somewhere big. I don't know if it's Japan. If there's going to be an earthquake in Japan. I keep seeing an earthquake in Japan. My, um, I do see some more, you know, the hurricanes are coming. They're coming, they're coming. Some of them are going to drop down to a tropical storm. But then some of these hurricanes are coming to tear some stuff up, okay? Um, within some of these hurricanes, I'm also seeing some tornadoes. So there's going to be some tornado warnings as well. Oh boy, why are they showing me? Is it Kentucky? I think it's Kentucky that I see some type of energy coming through. Or Kansas, one of the two, Kentucky or Kansas. Okay, tornado. Y'all remember the words? What she say? When I think of home, I think of a place where there's so <laughs> Kansas. I think is more closer to what spirit is showing me. Okay? Now. Something's going to happen in Canada. I don't know if it's going to be a hurricane or like it's going to be early type of snow type of weather. But something's going to have going on in Canada. Okay? DMV area back down the east coast. We gotta we gotta prepare because they're coming through. Some of them are gonna come through. Some of them are gonna drop the um, tropical storms. Okay, um, like I said, get ready. Get your survival kits ready. Stock up on water. Stock up on batteries. Make sure that you prepare for the weather that's coming. Okay, don't be caught without no water, no extra canned goods. A lot of places are flooding. Okay, there's some cleansing that has to take place in some of these cities in the United States of America. Not, I mean, I'm speaking for here now, but overseas too. Y'all see what happened in Italy. Another thing we have to pay attention to is, you know, I would consider a solar flare part of the weather. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because in Texas, they just had some solar flares, and then it was Ohio that was throwing, they were throwing some solar flares down. So, y'all be mindful because there's more coming. There's more blackouts coming. There's more flooding coming. The streets have to be cleansed. These cities have to be cleansed. So we're saying that, family, we're going to have some crazy type of weather. Okay? Just make sure that you are, like I said, stock up on water, your canned goods, batteries, flashlights, extra lights. Okay? Uh, Spirit, Spirit, I was, when we started talking about the uh, Texas again, Spirit also showed me there's going to be other states that are going to get the... Uh, gonna start having meteorites land and uh, yeah so don't be su be surprised okay because they're coming they're coming all right um any questions about the weather any questions about the weather y'all now what's next what y'all want to uh, do next love politics uh you want to talk about politics Politics, okay, let's talk politics, about politics. Politics, <laughs> politics, politics, politics. Did y'all hear today that, uh, excuse me, y'all, excuse me, Biden has can, uh, COVID, that he got COVID? You heard about that, that? Yeah, I think that came out last week, though. He still got it? No, it was today. And I just really? heard it today. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I might be behind because I don't watch the news like that. But I heard he had COVID, okay? I heard he had COVID. Anybody else hear that? Yeah, but I, I mean, I think it's, I think it's ironic because for the last six days, they've been talking about 
Biden's son's laptop being used as evidence. And that what they were talking about was um, that from the COVID testing and the ancestral DNA testing for people wanting to go see what their ancestral DNA, uh, they said uh, one of the main companies is 23andMe been selling information, your DNA information to uh, other countries. And what they found out is by taking the COVID test and, and those uh, DNA tests, they, what, what, what was actually found out was that they were, um, these the, uh, China was creating biological uh, weapons, you know, for, for specifically for individuals. So they can take your DNA, if they have your information of your DNA, your genetic makeup, they can prescribe something just for you, right? And then so say if they wanna, if they if they pick, if you're in a, uh, outside in the public and there's 30 people around, they could specifically make something just for you to get you sick where it won't affect nobody else around you, just you, because they got your, uh, your genetic makeup, your gene, your genome, and everything about you on file. Uh huh. Y'all that was sending in your little DNA test and getting your swab mouth for COVID. Now your DNA has gotten got. And what they found out was yeah. most of the information that was that they got from for other citizens of the United States was they got most of that from the COVID testing. So just getting tested, whether you swab your nose or spit it in a cup. They got they got information to where they can use that information to actually kill you, and not only that they can track you with this genetic uh, information, and they could track down your family members. So, what the government was really worried about, they found they started telling um, the soldiers in 2019 stop doing these um, ancestral DNA tests because they're scared that like if they send a soldier on a mission. A top secret mission, and they drop some hair follicles. They would be able to trace this. They would be able to zero zero in on the soldier that was at that scene, and, and be able to come into to America and extract him. And uh, and after that, they can also go and get his family, family members, his closest family members, to make that soldier talk. All kind of stuff they're worried about now. And they knew this in 2010, but now they're saying. In 2019, that they that they're trying to uh, they started warning the uh, U.S. soldiers about it. Y'all heard that? So if you sent your DNA, remember I told y'all what about six months of last year ago? I'm All right, now now we ain't doing it now. How the hell the phones? Talk to you while you're doing something live. We over here talking and the phone going to tell me or give me a message. Really? Okay. All right, y'all. Anyway, like he said. Yeah, what bothered me the most is the gov the gov the government was telling all the black people to go get, they, the black people have to participate in this. Why the government, see, and they putting it all on China. I don't believe it's just China, but, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. Okay. He just went off into a tangent, <laughs> and I'm watching the cat trying to bite the goddamn plant over there, right? Because it's bad. Now, all I would say is at the end of the day, take your shores with you when you go to the restaurant, because I've been snatching them out. I don't leave my shores nowhere because I don't want nobody getting none of my DNA. And try to eat at home if you, if you can, okay? All right, now, he just told y'all that story. I want to go on to the predictions. Hey, April, congratulations on your engagement. Sis, congratulations. How, how I know all is well, okay? I'm happy for you. When's the wedding day, okay? Now, let's go on to we do, we're finishing predictions. Predictions, we're going to go into, okay, we talked about Biden. Um, do you all feel like, like, like politics is even not, like, serious no more? Do you all feel like it's like, a joke now, like all the politicians, you know, politicians and all that stuff. Do y'all feel like it's kind of a joke? Like, ain't nobody checking for no governors and no senators and no politicians no more. You understand? Did y'all feel like y'all feel like that? It's like this country is being run by some other entity besides the government. Y'all feel like that? Hmm. 
that's the energy I'm getting, okay? Um, I, I'm getting that energy, and, I'm, and, and, and it's like there's so much more going on, and I'm about to take y'all to the cosmos, okay? Because we talked about the soul of but we're not paying attention. We're so busy looking down here, we're not looking up there, okay? So with saying that, we have to understand that there's some bigger things that's going on behind the scenes. Ain't nobody checking for the little politicians no more. Ain't nobody thinking about Biden or, you know, the little politicians and governors of your state. It seems like this is being run by another entity. Now, what I will say, I'm watching everywhere. One thing you learn with growing up in New York is that your eyes are not going to miss a trick. Your eyes are going to be in the front, in the back, on the sides, and everywhere else. In New York, the energy that's in New York will have you rolling like that. Okay, so you ain't going to miss nothing. I'm on the thing driving, and I'm looking behind my shoulder without looking behind my shoulder. Right? And I'm saying that because what's happening is there's a lot that's going on around us that we're not paying attention to. Okay, and as I told you all before, Spirit showed me there was a world meeting taking place against all the world leaders around the world. Okay, and there's some cosmic energy right now that's going on that we ain't paying attention to. Now, before we get into the predictions, well, that's not really the predictions. Politicians is, 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 is lost right now. It's not, nobody's paying attention to it, okay? I'm going to tell you like this. What I see... is okay let me let me go back i love jordan peele let me let me get it i love jordan peele because he he tapped into my brain he been tapping to my brain he in this movie that he just did nope he tapped into my brain now we're saying that jordan peele in this movie is telling you what's going on around you something i've been telling y'all for the last probably six years okay for those of you who didn't listen to me when i was on block talk radio when i had a show I had an actual show called The Fifth Dimension. And Dr. Delbert Blair was on the show with me. And let me tell you something. We used to do the show often. And we would talk about the aliens and the cosmic beings, okay? So, and I'm bringing that up because a lot of you all didn't listen to the show back then. So, I've been talking about this for years and years ago, okay? Now, the energy right now that's being presented to us, we've got to pay attention. Okay, you remember that, Gray? Yeah, the energy is you need to pay attention because they're here. Somebody hit me up on Instagram and said, Nikki, when is uh, uh, what do you call it? What play Planet X coming? Oh, yeah, because yeah. I need to know when Planet X is coming. I said, Planet X been here, okay? Mm -hmm. It been here. They told you in 2012 that it was coming. Planet X been here. These alien beings, which are our fellows families are here already okay now when you go see the movie no with jordan peele what you will learn is that he's giving you subliminables all over this movie i mean left right there's keys there's the the, 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 the land is called jupiter or something what is it called i forgot jupiter i can't remember it was... jupiter something right so if you if you know how to tap in and you know how what uh, all right. You tap in when you look at the movie. So he has there's a there's a, a like a type of fear with the Chinese guy. Actually, now listen now. I'm not telling the whole movie, but I got to tell y'all subliminals. Chinese key, two keys. Okay, alien ship. Okay, I've been telling y'all. I've been telling y'all they've been here. But go see the movie Nope and you'll understand even further if you can if you can actually decode things, okay? Um, I will tell you this. Now, remember I kept telling y'all a couple weeks ago we was going out and I kept seeing Chinese people pop up in places they don't really pop up at, right? A lot of them popping up in places they don't pop up at. They ain't used to shop at Walmart. No, no, no. The Chinese will shop with their own people. Yeah. Now they're coming into Walmart, into Kroger's. They don't even go to your grocery stores. Now they're coming all over the place. He's giving you the key, giving you the signs and the messages of what's going on. Do I think they're doing anything to us? No, I don't think so. I just think that they're taking over slowly but surely 
this place called America. And what I'm seeing is this is where I said it feels weird, the energy, the politicians are not really, you know, important no more. They're not important anymore. There's another type of energy that's creeping in. That's number one in the Nope uh, movie, okay? Now, another thing. I've been telling y'all for years, that cloud that you think is a cloud is not a cloud. That cloud is not a cloud. I can see, let me tell y'all something. I wish y'all could see what I could see. I don't profess to be the most, you know, uh, uh, perfect, as the Western world calls it, psychic or seer, but I see in many dimensions, okay? There's clouds that you think are clouds, and these ships hide within the clouds. I seen that years ago. I seen it years ago. That's in the movie, okay? Now, another thing is we have to pay attention to is that these animals, just not long ago, some guy found three of his cows eating out and dead, right? What else then, happened with then that? On another ranch, it was um, a guy, he had 300 cattle. Right. And all, all, three, of, all, all 300. 300 were dead. Right. And that's another thing with the, uh, like I was saying earlier, with the DNA specific, what they was doing, they're able to uh, use this on animals. So if they they can starve out a country, so they can go and shoot this DNA, uh, they can use that DNA specimen to uh, kill off a whole ranch of cattle. Like, so a lot of people got their own meat and they don't want to listen to the government. The government will go in there and do that. That's what happened to this guy. Uh, all his cattle got killed. I'm not saying the government did. I'm just saying this is one of the things, this is one of the ways they can use the DNA um, as a weapon. Well, all I'm going to say is that just pay attention when it comes to the politics. Nobody's watching for them no more. There's biggest stuff that's going on. Ain't nobody paying attention to them. Okay? Just know that. So, as far as the political part of these predictions, I just see more and more plants around and pay attention because they're coming. They're around. They're around. It's taking over slowly but surely. Okay? Yeah. Slowly but surely. So now, <laughs> y'all will see what I'm talking about. Okay? Now, what's next? This is making Avatar of Everybody. That's what you think, Ozzy? Global warming. Well, you know, let, let me just tell y'all something about the global warming. Let me tell y'all something about that. Global warming is naturally happening. There's nothing they can do about it. Every planet in the universe, in the galaxy, or whatever, is also going through a transformation. The Earth is going through transformation. Some things have to change. And what we're seeing right now is the things that have to change, okay? The things that have to change, it can't stay this way forever. We're coming back to the beginning. So we're at the end of the beginning where everything is coming right back around full circle, okay? You can't do nothing about it. They can't do nothing about it. I don't care how many sons they think they could build. I don't care how much manipulation that they use to try to you know, tamper with her womb, she's always going to come back stronger and stronger. Don't say I didn't tell you so. And see, this is why we're going to see an uh, influx of, of, of hurricanes coming through this place, an uh, influx of floods coming through other countries, okay? We ain't seen nothing yet because it's a serious cleansing of mother's womb that has to take place. So they can manipulate her all they want to. They're going to make her matter and matter. She might take this whole bitch under the water. Under the water. You hear what I'm saying? The whole earth. Okay? So they need to stop messing with her and let her do what she do, which is go through her transformation to cleanse her womb. Okay? Now, they're releasing many chemicals in the air to get... Well, shit, stay in the house, goddammit. To get at us, the end of us, what? Then stay in the house. And see, you know, one of the things we make the mistake is giving them superpower. Y'all need to tell me, everything bad that has supposed to happen, 
All this evil that they're doing, you mean to tell me there's no good behind it or nobody's fighting them right now? Because I'm going to tell you they are. That's why your cosmic beings are here to help fight what's going on. The super rich are going to move to space until they end the earth. Ozzy Brown, Brian. <laughs> that's what people believe. How can y'all believe so much stuff that's bad is going to happen, but don't think, y'all think, y'all don't think we got somebody that's working behind with us or helping us out? How is it that they're allowed to do all the bad things? What did you say, Ozzy? They're what? They're there are five families in the world that rule the world. The super rich are trying to take over. Well, the super rich can kiss my natural black ass. Because in their Bible, they wrote that said the super rich will become poor. According to what their scriptures say. And the poor shall become rich in spirit. So, let me explain something to you. The super rich are human beings, right? Or, or, or aliens or reptiles, as they say sometimes, right? So, at the end of the day, trust me when I tell you. You can't tell me that the super rich is the majority of the power of the world and that they can't be touched because the super rich can be touched let me tell you this again mother can come anytime if she can destroy and take cities under water what makes you think that she can't take down the super rich because they can't take their, their money with them and whenever she feels like spitting out of her room She'll take their whole houses, everything they own, their yachts, their boats, whatever they think they have. She'll take it all, even the spaceship they built. They'll take, she'll take it all underwater. She will take it all underwater. So let me explain something to you, Ozzy. Really, honestly speaking, they're powerless. And when I say powerless, whether they may be a reptilian being or they may be a human being, they still can be taken off of this planet by the supernatural forces of nature and cosmic energy. You hear what I'm saying? And see, we give them a lot of power. You give them so much power that people are walking around in fear. They're fearing, oh, the world is going to end. Oh, this is going to happen. That's going to happen. People are scared. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people, um, everything, I don't know, I just feel like with everything is fear-based as far as when it comes to alien and just everything just everything is just fear-based and it just it makes yep. everybody nervous and scared of the, mm -hmm. for the future y'all better make friends with the aliens make friends with the aliens. if you see one in your backyard invite them down for some coffee okay because at the end of the day those are the friends you want to have you know the dog gonna say we come from a star, a serious star system called Sirius A and B. Mm -hmm. I know that I came from the planet Saturn. I remember. You must know that you are truly a part of the energy that's in the galaxy. Okay? Other planets. Their beings are made up of their planets. So with saying that, you got to know that they're down here watching too. Now let me share this with y'all. A long time ago, I told you about Antarctica. I told you that the beings that were coming from the planets, different planets were coming through Antarctica. And then what happened? Later on, they found bacteria of some of the beings that were coming through from Pluto and Saturn, right? From the planets, Pluto and Saturn. Now look at this, y'all. There was a deadly bacteria that was just found. And I can't remember the name of it, but I'm going to get it for y'all and come back and tell you. And this bacteria was found in the dirt in, I think, one of the cities, right? Mm -hmm. So as soon as I see the article, I said, oh, okay, they, they, they're walking on the land now. Because I know this bacteria is not from human beings. It says alien. I see. They didn't say it was from aliens. They said it was from humans. Oh, I right? see that it was from alien beings that are walking on the planet. Just like I seen them putting the bacteria in the water in Antarctica. That's a portal for them to come through when they come to the earth, okay? Yep. Okay, so we did politics? So politics, this next. Uh, what you want, love or finances? What y'all want, love or finances? They say we're, uh, let's talk about, you start with the finances. They say we're in the, uh, what do you call that? What y'all call it when y'all, inflation, 
Uh, a recession, recession or recession or whatever. Oh, they say recession is looming or something because of superinflation. Right. You Everything know. just doubled overnight. So like, yeah, double the food doubled, the gas doubled. Y'all see that? Y'all go to the grocery stores? Everything's more. You used to be able to get a 40 bag chips for $10, now it's $19. Recession. 20 something dollars. Yeah, 1999, $20. Okay? So, what do you see with the finances? Finances, finances, finances. Um, I see, I, I don't know, Spirit just keeps saying uh, it's just a financial reset that everything is going to get better eventually. It's, um, they're making adjustments. That that's them t tinkering with the uh, with the economy and, and and the finances because they still have to get everything in. Right. I I see finances just they're gonna be up and down, up and down. Um, I was saying, I'm saying maybe to next year. I'm saying to next year like. Maybe after February, the, the, it's just going to be tinkering up and down. But I do see like in um, close to October, stuff stuff is going to kind of level out because they're going to want the, um, they're going to want people to celebrate the, ho like, you know, the, the holidays and stuff like that. So I do see that finances are, are going to be, they're going to be up and down all year. But I do see it's going to kind of level out people. I do see it's still a good time for people to uh, open their businesses. Um, Spirit is saying if you want to do business, um, everybody's open in brick and mortar, but uh, Spirit is saying so a lot of people should start focusing on um, the, you know, using using the World Wide Web to do that business. Um, yeah, Spirit is just, is just showing me that, you know, people need to focus more on, you know, using the World Wide Web. That, that way you don't have to worry about cuz i do see like if if things go if things close again and shut down again i just see the people are going to it's not going to be as bad as last time and people are still going to be shopping on the web and people are still going to be working so it's not as bad and the problem they're having now is nobody wants to work so many people have created their own avenue and their own lanes for working and and, and bringing their money to the household that the the plan kind of backfired on them well, let me ask y'all a question. How do y'all feel about the financial situation right now? How many, how, how do you feel about it? Like, do you feel like we are in a recession? Do you feel like that you're really doing so bad? How do y'all really feel about it? Want your water? Huh? Yeah. How do y'all really feel about it? Um, I'm just going to say this again, like Brother Adinkra said, that it's going to fluctuate up and down, fluctuate up and down, up and down, okay? Um, Keep what? cutting off. It's like as soon as we started talking. You're going to have, you know, your, your day, your months where you're going to have enough money, then you're going to have, you know what I mean? So I'm going to just say like this, budget your money until we get stability and know what's going to happen with the currency, Okay. Um, just try to budget your money, do a little bit better with your money. Um, put some aside for rainy days in case we got some other crazy stuff going on. Because right now, some stuff is not predictable. You can wake up tomorrow and they can be done shot up the whole goddamn United States. We don't know. I'm just saying, you know. Um, so put some aside. Start making a little savings, okay? Um, with your finances, okay? Try to start making a little savings with that, okay? Now, I'm going to say, like he said, about, about October, I don't know if they're going to be coming out with another stimulus or they're going to want to give more stimulus to people, but I do see that they're going to be offering that again, okay? I do see that, okay? Um, a lot more people also are starting, even though we're in a recession, starting their own businesses. They're not trying to work for nobody. And let me say something, these businesses, y'all better step up their game. Because if you want somebody to run you, you better start paying more money. 
They need to start paying more money. Y'all got to offer more money. You understand? Because people, you know, a lot of people started their own business. And not only that, people are working together. People are living together because the rents are so high. You know what I'm saying? They're charging $20,000 for a one-bedroom apartment. I'm exaggerating, y'all, but it is what it is. So a lot of people are starting to roommate together and live together. Families are starting to really get together. And they're focusing on starting their own businesses. So if they live together, they can help each other out. They're not having to pay $20,000 over here for a one-bedroom and, and, and $50,000 over here for a two-bedroom. You understand? So they're coming together and families are working together. And most of them are working on starting their own businesses. I do see that by January, there's going to be a, it's sort of going to be looking like a new, a uh, new world, okay? It's going to be looking like a new world with the currency as well, okay? Kim Smith, cryptocurrency, you know, I, I, crypto, I keep seeing a, 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 a decrease with the cryptocurrency. I keep seeing like a crash for the cryptocurrency, okay? Like a crash, like. Ain't nobody for, for checking for that either, okay? Um, so if you got some, I wouldn't buy no more right now. I wouldn't buy no more cryptocurrency right now. I wouldn't even buy no stock right now. I actually just bought some stock last week only because if I use your service, I'm going to buy some of your stock so I can own some of you too. So I bought some PayPal stock. I bought some, was it Walmart, uh, AT&T stock, because I'm like, look here, I'm making you money, I'm going to make some money off of your ass too, okay? So I bought some in stock from, you know what I mean, hey yo yo, how are you? I bought some stock in the companies that I use, that I'm making them money, they need to make me some goddamn money back. So I bought stock in those two things. Um, so if you can, try to do that, buy you some stock. And the companies that you would you spending your money with. PayPal charge a goddamn fee for every time you get something through, you know, through our business website. They charging a fee. But shit, you get money from me, I get money back from you. I, I need some of your stock, okay? So, finances are going to keep fluctuating, okay? That's what I see for August. Now... You might as well just leave that. Cause yeah, no, because this shit is... It's, it's, it's not like, doing it. Right. It's like they knew. You was gonna... <laughs> I already know. Okay, so, all right, y'all. So, let's go on. What do you think of what you said about finances? Let's talk about love. Love. Love is it, I recognize man. the picture, Deborah. Yep, I recognize the picture. So, you can give me the ice, too. My throat is dry. So... Finances, just put it on the side in case of emergency, okay? Don't you look at that. What's in there? Yeah. All right. All right. Do y'all have any questions? Any questions, family? All right. So how many of y'all... Now, what I really do want y'all to pay attention to is I want you to keep your head up. When you go outside, look up at the sky. I want y'all to start paying attention and looking at what's going on. Have y'all seen thunder? You know how when you watch the sky, you see thunder bolts? I don't see thunder bolts like that. If I do, that's when it's really raining. But if, if you don't see thunder bolts, that means they up there fighting, okay? Deborah, uh, we're going to do readings after we do the predictions. We're going to pull out the Nani Amaro mat and we're going to do your reading, okay? What you said also, uh, love. love. Love, love, love. <laughs> love is in the air. I see. You want to finish singing? No, <laughs> Now, um, what I see is just for love this month, um, Spirit is just saying, take it easy. Take it easy. Don't rush into anything. Um, this if you're not, in, if you haven't found anybody, because a lot of people seem to be looking for a companion of late, lately. Like a lot of people are wanting companionship, mm -hmm. men and women, especially the people that have been contacting us. Um, Spirit is also showing me that it's just like, it's time for, it's more the energy that's coming to the, to the earth and, and just 
really is just more like people wanting to be uh, more serious with the people that in relationships with. A lot of that 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 energy of uh, cheating around and sneaking around it's still out there, but more and more people are becoming more serious about living a, a, a lifestyle of being faithful to one another. Not just because a lot of that stuff is kind of um, getting old, but a lot of people are, uh, they are becoming spiritual. So that the, the energy, they don't want to be dealing with a lot of energy of, of people energy, like just negative energy. Even the men, you're starting to hear men talk about they don't want to be dealing with no toxic energy from no woman. And, and vice versa, you see, hearing the same thing with women. Women want somebody that's more serious now. So, right. um, I'm just seeing like a, a balance coming back to to the love life. And for this month, it's just spirit just said take everything slow. If you haven't, if you don't have have a person in your life, and if you do have a person in your life, start getting more serious and focus on what y'all want to do and where y'all want to take your future as a, a couple or a relation or uh, what you call it, one ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess I agree with you on that, but good thing for, you know, a lot of people, I, I feel like a lot of people are going through a spiritual, physical transformation, and this spiritual, physical transformation is taking them to another, uh, 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 vib uh, to another vibrational energy, um, whereas, you know, they're becoming more spiritual, like he said. So you're not having a lot, a lot of that toxic energy, that arguing, that cheating. Most people right now are no, they unknowingly are going through this transformation, not realizing that their mindset is changing. Okay, so along with the mindset changing and maturing and evolving into a more spiritual being, what's happening is, you know, and they don't know, but they they they're not understanding and they're not trying to understand is that they're being you know, they're being worked over. Their spirit is being worked over, okay? So a lot of people are going to start thinking differently. A lot of people are going to start feeling differently, okay? A lot, of, a lot of different type of emotions are going to be presented as you go through this physical, spiritual transformation. And it's for the better. And it's for good. And a lot of people are really wanting more peace now. The energy that's being pushed out there to where all these people are waking up and they're going through the spiritual transformation is like they just want peace, harmony, and love. Okay, so love, love this month um, of August. I just can see it continuing to evolve, evolve for the better. One shifts, I call them marriages, whatever you want to call them. They are evolving to become more better because both beings are becoming more spiritual. Yo -yo, child, okay? yo yo say yo yo Bo say I'm at a I'm at a point in life where, when it comes to spirituality you know I don't know what to believe I'm kind of on the fence with the church and then it's like a battle it was like I don't know and I don't know anymore she said I, well I guess I'm going through the spirit the spirit transfer transportation well you know yo yo in the bible it talks about the, the the age of the of the water bearer jesus talks about after him there will be the age of the water bearer which means that you know we're in the we're in the age of aquarius the aquarius is air and also you'll see the picture from pouring water letting you know there's a rebirth that must take place mm -hmm. and this rebirth must take place so that's in your own bible okay so it's the same thing. We are going through a spiritual transformation. We're at the beginning of, the, we're at the end of the beginning where we're going back and evolving. So in Jesus' time, that was the Pisarian age, okay? And the Christian age that was in. And he tells you, after me, there shall become the water bearer. So that means there's a major cleansing that must take place on this planet. And that's what we're seeing. This is just not about, oh, you just see a flood. Like I said, mother's womb has to be cleansed, okay? And this is something that was already in the Bible that was coming back from the ancient Africans, okay? That they took from us and put in the Bible because it was foreseen from the ancient ancestors. So what's happening is that water is flooding and cleansing the earth. So that's why we're going to see so much water coming this month, next month, the month after that, whether it's a hurricane whether it's a tornado, whether it's flooding, 
whatever it may be, water is coming to cleanse, okay? It's a rain, anything. So, I mean, you know, we say that the Bible is African folklore. African folklore, plagiarism, lies, some of it is true. I tell people to keep it. There should be no, there's no confusion, just understanding. You know, and even in the Bible, it talks about God is saying, or Jesus is saying, aren't the you gods too, right? So, with saying that, you know, that's what's, that, that's part of the transformation. We're becoming more spiritual. So, our bodies are becoming more lighter, right? We're thinking differently because the DNA is being reactivated and we're opening up more. To be more intertwined with everything on this planet as well as the cosmos. That's where that concept comes, as above, so below. But see, we wasn't living as above, so below, like we were supposed to. Because we have to go through our physical transformation. Mm -hmm. So as we're going through this physical transformation, this is the part in the Bible where they talk about, aren't you, aren't you to you gods? Right? Because now you are becoming God-like. As you go through that transformation and your DNA is reactivated. Because now you're being infused with more uh, information, all right? Because that's what your DNA is. And that junk DNA that they call junk DNA is really a DNA that was shut down secretly to now be reopened so you too can have the same energy as that God that they speak of in your Bible. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we did... So we did... Um... Love. They love uh -huh. finance, politics, weather. What's the last one? Um, health, right? Yeah. She said, uh -huh. like I said, I'm kind of like in tears right now because I don't know how what to believe anymore. It's like I feel a part, part of me is messed up from the church. Not the Bible, but the church. So I'm kind of like, I guess you mean, you know, she said taller. But you mean you kind of like what? That What's that last word you said, taller? Well, you know, I'm just going to say this, Deborah. You know, I don't like to tell people. Oh, battling. She should be in battling. Um, that the church messed you up because what the church did is create a manifestation of the things that you believe in so those things that the church put out there and 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 taught you to believe in actually began to manifest it in your life and many people's life that was into christianity okay mm -hmm. so saying that i wouldn't say that the church messed you up the church too was brainwashed the pastor too was brainwashed right they was brainwashed to believe something that a man wrote in the Bible. So since 1492, you were talking about Christianity and that there was this great God in Jesus. Now I tell people all the time, yeah, Jesus exists. I always say Jesus was an African traditional healer, but at the end of the day, Jesus existed in their world. And when they tell you they've seen Jesus, they're not lying. Because in that Christianity pantheon, they have manifested the energy of Jesus to exist. So yes, he exists in their world. Mm -hmm. You go to Africa, he's not going to exist in their world in certain parts. Because now they don't, you know, ran Africa with Christianity, especially in Nigeria. But All they, right? they still they still do their spiritual right, work. Right, still do their spiritual work though. Still come <laughs> they, to the Dibians even, in the, in the yeah, Bible hours, okay? Even the, even the uh, Muslims, they still do their spiritual, spiritual work. work. They, still so, do them, they still do them rituals. They still use their Bible to do rituals. And all of that. But All we're saying that. that, you know, I like to tell people all the time, when you know who you are, you will know what you can create and manifest. So for many, many years, it's been put out there that Jesus exists, God exists. Okay, he does exist in their world. Mm -hmm. It's very possible for you to create a God. If I create a God, I take some dirt, I make a, I just say I make a little statue out of dirt, and I blow on that dirt, I put my inyama on it, my energy on it, and I say, this is going to be God today. And then I tell you to, then I tell you to pray to that, say, well, let's give it a name. Just say the name was, uh, Jose. Jose, right? <laughs> right. Let's say the name was Jose. So I say, 
I want you to pray to the statue every day. And his name is Jose. And I want you to pray that he's a powerful statue. I want you to pray that everything you want, every prayer you want, he's going to answer. And then I want you to tell your friend. And then I want your friend to tell her friend. And I want that friend to tell that friend. Do you know how powerful that is? So I give you the image and I put it in front of your face. Now I created it. And you begin to start praying to this one Jose that I created. And guess what? It's going to start manifesting into existence, right? Mm -hmm. So now, the fifth friend you told, guess what? I prayed to Jose today. I asked him to bring me some money. And guess what? I got a whole bunch of money. Amen. <laughs> right? You see what I'm saying? So, when Christian said, well, I believe in Jesus. I mean, okay. And he exists in your world. But if you go over to China, he doesn't exist in China. If you go over to Africa, if you go to India, there's just Buddha. That's their God. So tell me, you understand, how that God exists over there and yours, you understand, can't exist? It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a human game that was played. And it's a human not knowing, you know, the truth in the matter is that you are the one that actually creates the world that you were in. And if you want to manifest the energy of Jesus and God, then guess what? Do what you got to do because he's going to exist. It's understanding who you are as a human being. Okay? But if you read your Bible from back to front, it tells you in your Bible who you are and how you have the power to create and manifest it. Again, Jesus said, aren't the ye two gods? And what did Jesus do? What did he do? He performed miracles, right? That's why we say Jesus was an African traditional healer. They went over to Africa and seen all the magic that was done in Africa and said, she, we're going to create our own God and we're going to call him Jesus or Yahweh or whatever y'all want to call him. Mm -hmm. um, Stephanie Wong says, hi, Miss Nikki. I'm so glad to uh, I caught you tonight. Hi, Stephanie. How you been? But she asked Stephanie Wong also makes a great point. She says the church was the starting point of spirituality. We had to start somewhere. So a lot of people, the church was a starting point and they had to start somewhere. And, and you know, that's very true, Stephanie. But what the church did is they took it to the next level, right? And what happens is most people, right, that go to church, they believe outside of themselves. So now I feel what, Deborah's saying because she's battling her spirituality. Not knowing that she is God. She is God. But they're making her pray to something outside of herself that they created to manifest in her psyche. Mm -hmm. Right? In her psyche. I had a young lady came on my show, on my radio show years ago. What did she say? Oh, you shouldn't be talking about Jesus. I see Jesus. He came and did this for me. He did that. I said, I bet you I can tell you what he looked like. I said, did he have long hair, skin of bronze, a little lighter? She said, yes, and I seen him. I said, exactly. I said, and where did you get that image from? I said, I don't go to church, but I just described your Jesus to you, didn't I? I said, because you know why? All over the world, the image of, not all over the world, but especially here in the United States, everybody had a white Jesus on their walls. So that's why you think you've seen him because they planted that image into your subconscious mind. And along with that image, they gave you a story to go along with the image. That's exactly what I was just saying. I can create what we call a spirit abode. And I can tell you this spirit abode is going to bring you money. So I want you to call upon this spirit abode, this spirit abode named Kim, and I want her to bring you money. And you're going to pray to her every day, and she's going to bring you money. That energy is going to manifest into existence. Because now I'm going to have Kim, Stacy, Jackie, Kim, Jackie, everybody pray to the spirit abode and put the energy out into the universe that this spirit abode is going to bring you money. In your mind, you're going to think it's the spirit abode bringing you money. But it's really you and your inyama and your energy putting it out into the universe to manifest in your life. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Now, the church spirituality is different. They're telling you to look outside of yourself. With our spirituality or African traditions and the Chinese traditions too, too. I respect Chinese traditions because the Chinese are also disciplined like a lot of the Africans, okay? They're taking you to nature. Nature teaches you. 
how to find your spirituality. Christianity teaches you to go look outside yourself and pray to somebody that they ain't even there. You see? Um, and if you notice, Stephanie, they say that people are running out of the churches. The churches are getting empty. Mm -hmm. They're running out of the churches because at the end of the day, they're saying, who is God? Where is God? All of the things going on in this planet right now, why isn't God saving our people? Mm -hmm. Right? So, you know, I can't understand what you're saying, but let's put it this way. When you're first born, you come out of your mother's vagina. The first face you see is your mother's face. That's your God. You came out of her womb, right? I'm manifesting myself into reality. But what I'm saying is if you were never taught who yeah. God was, who would you think created you? You came from your mother, right? So that's your God right there. That's your God, your mother, okay? Uh, I say, oh, we love you too. What? She said, um, yo, yo, bro says, yes, that's what I'm talking about. My experience was one time I was broke, and I guess they let, let me say this was allowed to get some, what? I was allowed to get some candles and go to the ocean and bring the water back and put in the glass. And put the candle inside the glass and put on my t petition. Okay. Open the glass, and I was blessed with the amount of money I needed to pay my bills. So, once she did a ritual, she said it worked. Okay. See? Because the power is in you. Right. The, the power, power is in you. The power has always been in you. And that's what that junk DNA did was shut down the energy that you should be using now to get what you want to manifest what you want to manifest what you want in your world okay she said miss nikki you know I, I, I slept away from church about 10 years ago i allowed me to think on the next level and i'm glad that what did she say miss nikki i stepped away from the church about 10 years ago i allowed me to, I guess you mean it allowed me to think on the next level. I'm glad that I studied Christianity, but I also know that it's watered down and not the truth. One of the things I like to say, like Stephanie, everybody, if y'all look at it, every other culture calls on their ancestors, but American culture and Christianity. Mm -hmm. Christianity will tell you your ancestors are dead, once they're dead, they're dead, that's, that's it. Even your own culture, Stephanie, you being Chinese, pay respect to your ancestors. In African culture, we respect our ancestors. In Christianity, they don't respect them. Whether you're Jehovah Witness or you whatever, they do not respect their ancestors. And let me tell you something. Every other, even in India, as much as you see the Muslims and then the Hindu and all that, they still pay homage to their ancestors. It is American and Christianity that do not respect their ancestors. That's probably why they're having problems right now. They have no respect for the ancestors. According to their Bible, the ancestors don't exist. Once they're dead, they're dead. That's not true. That's not true. Now, at the end of the day, one of the things we have to understand again, even in that Bible, there is some truth. And it tells you. It's telling you it's telling you the true story. But nobody's paying attention to it because half of the people that go to church, they only know some scriptures. I bet you one thing, they know them goddamn psalms real quick they be doing rituals with the psalms. Okay, but there's stories in that Bible that come from African folklore that will tell you who you are and what you are. And it does talk about the ancestors in the Bible, but they don't pay attention to that. They still disrespect them. So they say that, but yet and still they go to their grave and they celebrate their birthdays. Yeah, because we know a lot of people in our family that they don't, they say that, then they go to the graves and they talk to their grandmother, mm -hmm. and then they leave flowers so they don't even realize they're doing a part of ancestral, uh, they pay homage to their ancestors. They don't even realize it. Right, they don't even realize it. So my thing is, you know, at the end of the day, you know, don't let it, don't battle with it. Just, just keep moving forward. 
Because what you got to do is, again, read that Bible from front to back. There's a lot of truth in there. Not a lot, but there's truth in there. And it's telling you about who you are and where you come from. And then there's this plagiarism and then it was lies. Okay? Don't let it battle you. It is what it is. Take it for what it is. And ask your ancestors to reveal to you where you need to be and what you need to be doing. Okay? You're doggone right. Every time I turn around, oh, go read Psalms 37. That one right there will get somebody back if they do something wrong with you. Oh, go read 92. If you want some money, you better pay. Go read Psalms 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 2, 3. That's going to bring you some money. I had a I had a friend that was Christian. He mm -hmm. believed in the Bible wholeheartedly. And if some, he said, man, all I got to do is somebody say something to me. If somebody do something to me, I pray in their face uh, Psalms 23. And all kind of stuff just happens to them. God just goes after them. Nah, I be like, nah, niggas, you putting hoodoo on them. What they don't realize is not the song. It's you. It's the energy you put out. So if you have a very, very powerful in Yama, okay, then guess what? And Yama could be so powerful, it can curse or bless somebody. I got to be careful what I say. Because if I say it, it happens. If I think it happened, and I'm not even being funny, this is real, and a lot of people have the same power. Don't get it confused. <laughs> you got to be powerful what you say. Because when you say it, it happens. So if I read Psalms 23 like he said, then yeah, all kinds of stuff is going to happen triple, 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 triple the time. Because I already have it naturally. Mm -hmm. You understand? So people don't realize it's the power in you that is allowing these things to take place. Not Psalms, not whoever wrote that. But the reason why Psalms works because it's it's using the you know the, the tongue or whatever, and then they may I don't even know if they envision it, but they're using that as a, as a, a instrument to call to to make their will come out and affect somebody's life. They're using the words that was written. That's what I'm saying. That, that probably that. was word written, said over and over and over again. Like I said, if I pray to this deity, just say I say Kim. Kim, give me some money. I need some money. I tell you, you know what? Pray to Kim. She's going to give you some money. Then you tell the next person. Next person, guess what? You go to Kim. You say the prayer. Kim, I need you to bring me some money. I need some money for some bills. You say it. She say it. He say it. It's going to come to pass. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a common tongue that's used to being said. Yeah, but a lot of people just focus on Psalms. You can use Matthew. You can use any part of Proverbs. the Bible. You can use Proverbs. First Corinthians, you can use all of these. You can use Revelations. You can use any part of the Bible. Um, it's books that have been written about how to use different books of the Bible for magic. And it's not just Psalms. It's the whole Bible. Now, got it? All right, so, health. Let's talk about health. And then we'll do we'll do a couple of reasons and then get off of here. Health. Um, just pay attention. Again, you know, one of the things I've noticed last month in July, which you need to pay attention to in, in um, August, your body's going to start talking to you and you're going to hear your body loud, clear. Listen to your body because it's going to start talking to you. It's going to start talking to the point that, that the organs are even going to start talking to you, okay? Mm. Pay attention to what the body's telling you, okay? Um... The body, again, is going through some physical changes as well, part of this transformation. So your organs are going through changes, your blood. Do get serious about taking care of your health. Listen to every sign that your body gives you. Mm -hmm. If your body say don't eat sugar and something is being exaggerated, just say if you, you had a stomach ache and you, you keep eating the same thing and your stomach keep hurting, don't eat it no more because your stomach's trying to tell you that shit right there is bothering you. Stop eating it, okay? This is real. And you gotta you gotta be in line with the transformation that the body's making because your organs, your physical body's going through that transformation too. Certain things you can't do like you used to do before. Because you're becoming more of a lighter being, your stomach is shrinking, okay? Um, there's a lot that's going on. People need to pay attention, even the way that you hear, uh, the way that you think. The way that your organs were working, some of that is changing, okay? So listen to your body because it's going to scream loud to you when you ain't supposed to be doing something, okay? 
um, as I've noticed, there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, diabetes. People are dealing with a lot of diabetic. A lot of people, not just black, but white too. A lot of people are becoming diabetic. Mm -hmm. That should tell you something right there. Change your diet because the food that you're eating ain't got no business in your mouth. Okay? Take it out your mouth. Your body doesn't want it no more. And again, it's part of you going through your spiritual, spiritual physical transformation. <clears throat> Try to eat more vegetables. Try to ground your feet with the earth. Go outside barefooted. Start grounding yourself so the earth can feed you through your soles and your feet. It can feed your physical body and your soul. Okay? So do do listen to your body. What you see with the body. Um, as soon as you said health, the spirit kept saying, um, pay attention to what you eat. I don't know. And it's funny because you, you went into that. But um, I just see, like you said, we really have to pay attention. Spirit is saying, a lot more people need to drink water. A lot more people need to drink water. A lot more people need to get more into the green vegetables. A lot more people need to um, focus uh, purely on their health because it's going to be life changing. Um, Spirit is saying it's going to be life changing. We must focus on our health now. Um, the ancestors want us to focus on their health. The ancestors. Um, of giving people signs too, not just the body, but the ancestors are trying to alert their loved ones to stop eating certain foods, um, especially the meat. I, for the last three months, I've been getting the stuff. I've been getting information about the meat. Like, be careful what you eat. Be careful. Don't eat out. Don't stop eating so much meat. Stop eating so much meat. This is constantly coming to me. Con stop eating so much meat. Don't eat meat every day. Don't eat meat every day. Eat meat. Once or twice a week, but just slow down on the meat because it's time for our body to go through a transformation. And a lot of us, the ancestors are saying it's time for us to heal our bodies mm -hmm. naturally because it's something that's coming that uh, they want us to be prepared for physically and spiritually. But I just see, you know, soon, like I said, as soon as you said that the body, just, the, the spirit just said, pay attention to what you eat. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, Kim... With excess mucus, you want to try to drink a lot more warm water. Another thing I do is, and I noticed since I've been doing it for the last two or three months, is making, I don't know if y'all seen me put it up, but I make the ginger juice with pineapple juice, with cucumber, and we boil the skin of the pineapple. And then we cut up the pineapple, put it in the juice, so we add fresh ginger in the juice and add a lot of ginger. It's going to burn a little bit, but it gets rid of that mucus. And the ginger is also good for your stomach. And then we put a cucumber in there and the skin of the pineapple that we boil, we put the juice, the water from that in there too. So we make a whole drink. It's really good also for weight loss, but it's really good for mucus. And then you just got to drink a lot of warm water and that'll kind of break down the mucus. At least try to get you a half a gallon or a gallon in a day, okay, for the mucus, okay? Mucus, yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to do a reading real quick. We're going to pull out the Niyani and Mara mat. And okay. we're going to do a reading now. Uh, Deborah, give me your question again. Yeah. All right, family. So let me show y'all. We're reading with the, this is called the Niyani and Mara divination mat. And we're reading with this, okay? Now, give me a question again. I'm going to do it that way. Yeah. I can see. Tell me how you want. Well, I guess I can look up. Tell me how this looks. You got to put it down. What's your question again? Will I have... Will I well, I meet somebody with somebody coming to my life, and my son's name is Nixon. Will be will he be okay? One question, Deborah. One question, real quick. Let me see. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. That's good. Yeah, that's uh, good. You that's sure? Good. That's good. All right. Okay. Look at her question for me. Okay, I'm on. Yeah. 
Now this is a, it, it, this is a dwarf mat, okay? As y'all can see, the little dwarf. So what's the question again? I'm gonna ask you a question for my life. What uh, where is it? Oh, will I meet somebody? Will you meet somebody this year? Will somebody come into my life? My son, uh, Hmm. I know you got I know you got I know that you have um put up a little bit so they can see my face. I know that you have energy from the mothers that's protecting you. Your ancestors now these right here represent ancestors. Your ancestors are definitely trying to work with you but your ancestors want you to work on your health this lands on your health okay so your ancestors want you to focus on your health put it down just a little bit just a little bit your ancestors want you to focus on your health yeah. okay a little bit more can you see all right so right here the ancestors are, are definitely guiding your path okay and you got the divine mothers but let me ask the question again what did she say will she meet somebody this year Okay. Let's see. Okay, y'all. Can y'all see? Will Deborah meet somebody this year? Will she meet somebody this year? Will she meet somebody this year? Alright. Alright, Deborah. So yes, you're gonna meet somebody this year. You're definitely gonna meet somebody, but I'm just with the ans the ancestors want you to focus on your health. Let me let me see what's going on. Hmm. See how the, the dwarf falls up and the little butt is showing? You got somebody around you that's kind of negative, Deborah? Got somebody around you that's kind of negative? That's not too. See what she's saying? Okay, okay. Some negative energy around you. Who's Deb? Is this Deborah? Yeah, yo, yo, bro. She said yes, my sister. Okay, because it's, it's picking it up that somebody around you is negative. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Very negative. It looks like she's negative to the point where she's trying to cause you some obstacles. Because you see how Tiger on Ice Stone wins is on the um, obstacles. Okay, and. Maybe her energy pulling on you or you talking to her, but it's definitely not good. Not good. Um, yeah, she asked about well, I guess she was there. What? Anybody got else got any questions? Because she asked something about her son when her son graduated. What about him? We'll answer yeah. that question while we waiting for somebody else to. She said my son name is Nicholas. Will he be okay? Yeah. Oh, he just graduated. Okay. She said, will her son Nicholas be okay? Will Nicholas be okay? Will Nicholas be okay? Will Nicholas be okay? Let's see. I got it. What's going on with your son? What is he doing for himself after he graduated, Deborah? I'm going to throw that again. What's going on with him? What's he doing with himself? Is he going to go to college or he don't want to go to school? What's going on? Hmm. Yeah, see that one up and one down. The answers is definitely there. What's going on? Is there something going on with his health? He been having problems with his stomach? Yes, he possibly be doing it too. Mm -hmm. Ask him if something going on with his stomach and also to I don't know why it keeps seeing his head. I don't know if he, it keeps seeing his head. Anybody else got any questions while we're waiting? I'm gonna take two more questions. She say, I don't know, he's having problems with his hands, and I'm the one who's been having problems with my uh with my stomach. She said he's been having headaches. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
All right. Somebody on here, and, and Spirit showed me this earlier, is having a problem with their right knee. I don't know who it is, but I see that they're having a lot of pain in this right knee. In their right knee. They fall side like that. They need to go to their ancestors. Hmm. Y'all need a um. Y'all need spiritual bath, Deborah. You and the sun. Also, it lands on money. Are you having problems with money? You see, this is landing on money right here. You can't see the camera's not down, but it's landing on money. Uh, Kim Smith said, what should I be working on? Kim Smith, you got a specific question? Kim Smith, do you have a specific that's a, that's question? That's a, a general question that we got to go. Let me see. I don't know, Kim, they show that you got some blocks. You need to work on you. You need to start working on yourself. Okay? Start focusing on yourself and work on you. <laughs> it's sort of like you're getting blocked from the feminine energy. I don't know what's going on, but you're getting blocks from the feminine, feminine energy. Let me see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. See that? You're getting blocked from the feminine energy. Hmm. You also got some enemies around you. And, and spirit is right here. They're showing like this is pointing here. You need to have more self-love. Okay. Anybody else got any questions? Anybody else got any questions? She got the divination matter. Anybody got any more questions? Anybody else want to ask a question? Got to ask a question. We got the Niani Imara. It's the Niani Imara divination map. Uh, Majestic Ra says, his spiritual purpose. What's, what you what you asking, Majestic Ra? What's your spiritual purpose? Majestic Ra, what do you want to know? What's, What's the spiritual? Majestic Ra's spiritual purpose. <laughs> Yeah. He just put spiritual purpose. So. See how that looks? I don't yeah. like that. I don't like that. What? What you looking at? You gotta tell me what the... Wait a minute. I'll sit up. Yeah, just, just forget it. Go ahead. What? Majestic rock? He said Same yes. The spirit, what's the spiritual purpose? Majestic rock, you got some enemies, but you need to go to your ancestors. Your money comes up, Majestic rock. Like your money is slow. It's like Jesse, he got some en he got some enemies. Not only that, you need to you been you have you been talking to your ancestors? Have you been talking to your ancestors? Because this one? these right here show that your ancestors are waiting for you to come to them. You gotta come to your ancestors. You are getting some somewhat protection, but you don't have full protection. Yeah, because somebody wanted You got enemy, money. <laughs> Look at that. Falls I know, right I there. See, I see, I see. Right on the white dwarf, which means you better be careful. Be careful. Said, Just watch yes. us what around us. He said yes. What did you ask me? About enemies, about money. And his he needs to go more to his ancestors. Oh, he said he you been going he said he's been going to his ancestors. Well, I don't know, they want something from me. You need to go and you need to talk to your ancestors more. They want you to come to them. Because they got some stuff they want to share with you. Okay? See, the money comes up again. Mm -hmm. They want to guide him. Tell him they want to guide him. So your ancestors want to guide you. The mad show that your ancestors want to guide you. They want to protect you from your enemies. And also, uh, Majestic Ra... You need to listen to some binary beats and you need to have more self-love. See this? This dwarf falls right on the arrow which points to the love. And then it shows where the ancestors are surrounding you. And these ancestors want to protect you from your enemies. Okay? 
This arrow falls towards the enemy and the love. You need to have self-love. Listen to some music, some drum beats or something to help heal the energy, the un energy. The vibrations of the drums are going to help with the energy healing, okay? All right, anybody else have questions before we go? He just was talking to them tonight. See, so it's right on point. What's the next question? Anybody else got any questions? Anybody else got any questions? Anybody else want to ask a question? Kim Smith says she doesn't understand what I does that it. mean. Go ahead. What that means is <laughs> it could be what two things. It could be somebody physically, a, a female that's doing work to block you, or mm -hmm. not, or it could be somebody using spirits to block you. A feminine uh, spirit, that, but it's coming from the feminine in energy. It's coming from a female. All right, any more questions, family? We'll take two more, and then we're getting ready to get off of here. Two more. Two more questions. Two more questions. Anybody else want to ask a question? Thanks. You're welcome. We'll take two more questions. We're doing readings. Okay. TV profit. Why are my dreams becoming more and more vivid? That's my taste. Okay. Why are Tavia's dreams becoming more and more vivid? Wow. Tavia, your ancestors are around you very strong. And on this map, the God, the what they call the God you is protecting you. Okay? Um, but your ancestors are definitely working with the God you. And also to the divine mothers, the mothers of this cardinal points of the earth, they're also guiding you. So they are showing you things. Okay. So that's why your dreams are coming more and more vivid. And not only that, you are also, you also have somebody around you that doesn't want to see good for you, who wants harm to come to you, who's jealous of you. Okay. Um, but don't worry about it because right here. What spirit is what they're showing on the map is that you're being protected by this God you and also by your ancestors and the divine mothers are guiding are they also guiding you on your spiritual path so that's why your dreams are becoming more actual vivid okay mm -hmm. but I do want you to focus on watch your enemies just you know be careful who you be around but you you got some major protection though so don't worry but your dreams are becoming more vivid because vivid because the mothers are guiding you. On the spiritual journey, okay? She says she know exactly who. She feel it. The, in it. the energy is very strong. She said, thank you. Uh, Erica Neal said, is there a feminine energy blocking my daughter from, I guess she means succeeding? She's Erica, give me your daughter's first name again. Is there a feminine, uh, feminine energy blocking Erica's daughter? What's her name again? Okay, we'll put a number in there. Okay, so Erica, what's oh, Tarika? Okay, uh, what was the question again? What's um, I forgot what she's. Oh, uh, is there feminine energy blocking her daughter? Is there feminine energy blocking your daughter? Tarika. I think she needs from succeeding. It's her succeeding. Okay, let me see. Is anybody blocking Tarika? Is anybody blocking Tarika? Is the feminine blocking Tarika? Mm. 
See, now, when these fall to the side, this is going to be, they need, they need to go to their ancestors. Mm -hmm. Right? So, she is getting some guidance from the from the mothers, from the divine mothers. Okay? But, Tarika, I mean, excuse me, Erica, does she got a woman that's jealous of her? Did having to do with a baby father, something like that? Does she have a woman? Because whoever she is wants harm to come to her. Okay? She needs to go to her ancestors and start talking to her ancestors too. Okay? Let me see something else. Her ex-girlfriend? Okay. She needs to get a spiritual bath, but she needs to get protection, Erica Neal. Also trying to cause her health problems. You see that? Right here falls in the health. Trying to cause her health problems. Also trying to cause her obstacles. She needs to go. These represent the ancestors. She needs to go to her ancestors. She needs to set up an altar and talk to her ancestors. She does have some guidance by the Divine Mothers. But she's got to go to her ancestors. Also she needs to start getting her mind quiet. She needs to start listening to like some drum beats. Some African drum beats, which is going to actually help with certain vibrational energy that's needed right now in her life. That's why this fell on this right here. The African drum, okay? But she needs protection. Alright, anybody have one? I'll take one more and then we're going to get off of here, okay? One more question, y'all. We're reading with the Ni'ani Imara divination map. This is one of the oldest form of divination, African divination. Okay. You're welcome. Any more questions, family? One more question. We'll take one more question. You work on a computer? Yeah, hold on. Let me just go ahead. I'm going to just wrap this shit up because shit, like you said, I feel like it's kind of fishy. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. If we don't have no more questions or come in, what's the best binary beats? Where do she I find said, them? Uh, she said thank you. Go on YouTube. Go on YouTube and look up binaural frequencies only. Not the ones with music, but binaural frequencies only. Okay? The 532 hertz are good. But now they got some 863 hertz. So look up like the higher number hertz. Okay? And start listening to them while you go to bed. You can put some headphones on while you go to bed at night. Start listening to those, okay? All right, I guess we don't have any more questions with the mat, so we're going to get ready to get off of here. Okay. Is that it? That it? That it? That's it. That's it. All right, family, so we just finished doing the readings with the Ani Mara Divination Mat, okay? Anybody interested in those, we do sell them on the site. And they come with books, so you know how to do it yourself. So if you're interested in these, you can check on our website. We do sell them. They're very good, and they're, I'm going to say, at least 99.9% .9 accurate. Okay? She said she'll do some stuff for me. Okay. All right, just let us know. And we'll be shipping out. We should be getting, we have a shipment coming in. Tomorrow, Tuesday from Africa, Erica, so we can get that protection for your son. As soon as we get it this week, we're going to ship it out, okay?
All right. Any questions, family? No more questions before we go? No more questions before we go? I'm ready to skedaddle off in here. So, pretty much, we just finished the divination readings. You're welcome, Erica. You're welcome. Um, the, the quick rundown for what we see for the weather. Look out for the hurricanes. Look out for the tornadoes. Look out, family. Stock up on water. And stock up on flashlights and lights. Do not play, okay? Um, buy some blow-up boats. There's a lot of flooding going on, as we said. Now, as far as politics, pay attention to the bigger, the bigger picture. Because right now, politics are being ignored. Ain't nobody checking for the president, checking for these politicians like that. Because there's some bigger stuff going on. Worldwide meetings, okay? Um, also, too, we talked about finances, okay? I do see a crash in the in a, in a, in a, uh, Bitcoin to the cryptocurrency. Um, but for the most part, um, do save for a rainy day. Finances are fluctuating up and down. Um, as they say, we're in a recession right now. Some people are not in recessions because they got money. Some people are. All right, but just put put aside some money for a rainy day, just in case. Okay, um, love. You know, just keep embracing the energy of love, and and you know, make sure that you are you know, in in line with the vibrational energy that the universe is sending on the peace, love, and harmony tip with with one shapes as I call them. Okay, and what was the other thing? Health. 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 Listen to your body. Listen clearly to your body. It's going to tell you what to eat, how to eat it, when not to eat it, what not to eat anymore. So listen to your body because it's going to be speaking to you loudly, okay? Very loud. On that note, that was the thing. We thought we covered everything. Covered everything. All right, family. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get up out of here. But most of y'all are home, so you ain't got to get up out of there. You just got to get in bed so you can go to the plantation tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, thank you for tuning in to the Spiritual Vault. I am Nikki Love, a Wunam Nikki Love. Okay, a Wunam aka Nikki Love, your African indigenous traditional healer. You're welcome, I'm Majestic Wa. And I'm Brother Dinkra, your African indigenous traditional healer. And Majestic Wa, get that full Peace reading so we can see who your enemies are so you know who you're dealing with, okay? Just let us know. Hit us up. Have a good night, family. All right, peace. Peace.